Punters and dribblers, welcome back to About Even, Australia's number one punting show, the greatest punting show of all time, obviously. Like we say it every week, if you don't believe me, you can go and get fucked. It's pretty simple. I'd like to give a big thanks, a big round of applause to our good friends at Ned's. Best in the business. Best in the business. Absolutely terrific. If you're not punting with Ned's, you're not punting right. It's as simple as that. Also join us in our About Even uh, private group. The code is Dribbler. Dribbler. Uh, and follow along our profiles. Obviously, if you're following Guru this season, you're almost out of money. We'll get to that. Sebo, how are you? Oh, I'm surviving. Going well, surviving. Uh, yeah, two twins, tough life. Uh, but I'm watching more footy than I normally do because normally I'm out doing something on a Saturday. Mm. But now I'm watching every minute, except for Sunday was on silent because I was like in – uh, like saving Private Ryan, just taking grenades. The boys weren't <laughs> sleeping for more than 30 minutes each on a, like a different schedule, just crying. And I'm just, you know, footy's on there silently, just just going, just hanging in there. You know, when like Matt Damon's just like crying, like in, in the, that was me on Sunday because uh, Millie was also sick and went to hospital. So I'm just, yeah. Oh, so you were in there solo <laughs> in the trenches. Yeah, I had shift family members come in and give shifts. Yeah, yeah oh, you yeah. need a shift. <laughs> yeah, you need, you need a, a shift, yeah. mate. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, so the betting, my poor betting performance kind of was like overwritten by just what was going on. But uh, I'm back on deck. I'm focused. Uh, I've had a little bit of sleep going well. You look really fresh, mate. You actually look pretty good, all things considered. Yeah, I was in the sun a bit yesterday trying to film a video. So. Vitamin D, that's yeah. all you need. Rue, yep. Yep. talk to me, bruh. Um, I would give my left nut to have my bad punting overwritten by something else at the moment. <laughs> uh, I am in the hurt locker. I have underestimated the bright lights of about <laughs> even. Uh, I come to you <laughs> looking for help. And a yeah. real man asks for help when he needs it. Uh, and I've turned to a couple of bright light footballers this weekend to get me out of one of the great holes of all time. So, uh, but you know what? I'm here. Not all of us are here. Some of us are showing face this week. Look, we're not all here. Uh, you've probably worked out by now that I'm hosting the show, which, you know, I think we can all agree I do a pretty good fucking job at when I'm given the opportunity. Tommy's away. He might be in later, but he's not here now. I'm not going to go into it because I don't know why, but he's not here. And I'm going to have to assume family reasons, which is fine. Now, last but not least... I won't forget you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. I won't forget you, bro. <laughs> I know how important you are. An integral cog in this wheel. <laughs> Random stats guy. Cool Bay. How are you? Mr. Hot, Mr. Sexy, Mr. Fuckable. Tell you what, hot and sexy is the Cowboys 2-0. Oh. First time <laughs> since 2017. And may I remind you the last time, uh, what happened in 2017, we made the grand final. And if Sean Fensom didn't do his ACL, we probably could have won that grand final too. So Jeez, there you bold. go. <laughs> That's a big well, so, I It's no a Cooper hat and a Cowboys jersey, but I am pretty bold I, today. Um, I was once at a petrol station early 2018 and someone came and, uh, up and asked me how my leg was doing. They thought I was Sean Fencer. <laughs> 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 Went along with it, said it's coming along all right, <laughs> heading back up to North Queensland soon. So shout out to that person. Shout out to that person. If you're watching, uh, get in touch. We might make you a lippy. Let's get cracking. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to accountability, which will provide me a great opportunity to suck my own penis uh, because everyone else stinks. Broncos 28 defeated the Rabbitohs 18 in the first game last week. We were, we were read across the board largely. There was a Trell for Seb and there was a Jesse Arthurs for the Lippy, but by and large, redness. Redness across the board. Mm, Rabbitohs game. suck. Yeah, like uh, Keep losing- that in mind. The bet here's the least of the worries for me. Like watching that game, I wanted to throw up. You know what I mean? I don't know what is wrong. Probably multiple things. But um, Souths, A, used to be a great team to watch because they can score footy. Great team to bet on. You know, you had uh, meat and potatoes. Trill, AJ, Rabbits win. Don't know what's going on now. Uh, it hurts my heart, not just because my team, but it's also losing a good team to punt on. No yeah. Idea. That's a reasonable point you make. I mean, AJ used to be houses last yeah, week. Yeah. Now they look fucking awful, the Rabbitohs, let's be honest. Sharks 25 defeat the Bulldogs 6. This is where I start to get into my work. Ronaldo and Unders, $4.08. I mean, that's just money for jam, really, isn't it? Four dollars and eight. Yeah, it's not going to set the world on fire as punters and dribblers. I know that. I'm not coming in here beating my chest, going, oh, "I got a fifteen dollar bet once a year." 
I don't give a fuck about that. That doesn't move the needle, baby. Getting bets moves the needle. And that's the play this week and for the foreseeable future. Get in there, get your job done, clip your fucking ticket and move on. Yeah, a bet like that, I like to... It's like when you're playing golf and you get the guy who can't play just, you know, on a tricky par four, always going, you have to go for driver. That caught sort of better four eight. It's like you're just laying up and taking the par. Yeah. Like, I'll lay up and take the par. Why do I need to try, pull out a driver and potentially just fuck out? Like, doesn't set the world alight, but uh, I would love to just light a candle at that. <laughs> <laughs> so, fingers crossed. Uh, shout out to the Lippy last week who did send us this naturally cooked sunscreen. Okay. Now, the Lippy. Went okay, but basically makes up for their poor poor uh, punting performance by giving us gifts. Gifts are a way to our heart, punters and dribblers. And I think that because the bright lights are getting into the big fella, this would be a nice gift for my man, yeah. Roo. You, yeah. you lather yourself in yeah. that, brother. Come in with a bit of sun yeah. safety, a bit of bright light protection, and maybe the gods will smile upon yeah. you. Because these aren't just bright lights. These are like lights that you get when you have a pet blue tongue with yeah. it like UV inserted into them. That's right. They cook you. The omen that's worrying me early is, uh, we'll get to it soon, Tommy Birmingham, he's tipped uh, the ghost Dylan Edwards for a try uh, with sunscreen coming in. <laughs> the ghost desperately needing some at all times. <laughs> that worries me. <laughs> Great point. Panthers 26 to beat the Eels 18. Too slick, the Panthers. We all took the Eels really, realistically. Seba had them plus seven and a half, which fell short. Also, May does not cross. Plenty of red there. We believed in the Eels too much. And I won't be making that mistake this week. <laughs> Don't worry about that, gentlemen. Raiders, Raiders 32 defeat the Tigers 12 at... The bin at the tip down in Canberra. Apparently, it's fucking stinking like shit down there. Multiple reports coming in from the P and the D that it was unbearable down there in the nation's capital. Are we shocked? I'm not. Tell you what else didn't shock me. Xavier Savage, who can play rugby league, scoring a try. And I said last week, in a game like this, when you're playing a shitter, you got to, you got to, you're going to be playing in the muck. You're going to be playing in the mud, and you need a couple of mud operators, a couple mm. of trench operators. And Zach Hosking's your fucking man. Do you see him get up and work for that football? That's what you want, punters and dribblers. That's two from two from me. Six dollars and ten cents. Mm. That's just clipping the ticket, gentlemen. Do you want to suck me off for a second? I'll let you. I'll let you just like. Yeah, I'm you not know, enjoying this in so praise. far. <laughs> I, I actually didn't realise how well you went over the weekend. It's uh, I was rattled walking in here. This is really starting to hurt yeah. now. You, look, I'll commend it, but like a suck, you need three legs and double digit odds. I feel. Well, give me a handy yeah. then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's <laughs> give fair. me a handy. Give you hey, a handy. Oh, fuck, yeah. mate, I'm in the yeah. movie theater. Let's here. go to the movie Jukes theater. Has it? Put on my first yeah. hand job, baby. That's fine by me. Fast and Furious for me. Um. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Wait, mate, listen, you take a hand job at the start of the season. Let's not get fucking our knickers in a knot. Cowboys 21 defeat the Knights 20. Knights sort of shit the bed, really, let's be honest. Uh, a lot of red here. The lippy, I'll give credit to Mr. Mr. Sunscreen. He had Maju Nanai, Tuolangi, Cowboys minus seven and a half. But he's getting some green in there. He had a lot of legs last week. We'll get to the, we'll get to the leg breakdown later on, but he was... He was getting close, but no cigar sort of footy, you know what I mean? Storm, 30, defeat the Warriors, 26. I went under 40 and a half. If you ever go unders, it will not hit. Keep that in mind when you're punting. Nick Meany, thank you, Rando. You're welcome. Should have just stood him out. Yeah, I, you did say unders, and I did say most of these games go overs, but you, you stuck to it. You did. Thank you, mate. No uh, but we do need to go to our, our good mate. Mr. Allergic to the Bright Lights, Rugby League Guru. <laughs> I'll give it to you, bro. Bad beat. Yeah, I'm glad someone gave it to me because I needed it. Um, this was brutal. Uh, down, I think, 18-6 at halftime against the Melbourne Storm. No one comes back from that. Um, I managed to summon, you know, Todd Lowry. I had James Maloney in there. Sean Johnson, 2013. I, I had it all. And um, I'll be honest, I thought I was home. <laughs> Crows do not come much earlier. Um, and, mate, this finish was absolutely brutal. You all saw it. Uh, I can't believe how that played out. <laughs> yep. It was I one of the great Saturday night viewings, you on the story, just going through every single minute live. That was a man, that was a man in deep, deep suffering. <laughs> yep. 
deep suffering. Oh. Three dollars and five as well. So you got you've got units on the line there, like and it's a big bold call. It's just a clean bet. It's a underdog to win, which and I they, love that, that bet. Yeah, it's just I a clean bet. bet. Oh, three bucks, underdog to win. Uh, eight up eight with I don't know how long to go, like six minutes maybe something about like four seconds four. from memory. <laughs> yeah. Four seconds, yeah. That no, was about three minutes. Yeah, yeah. Like. crazy, crazy finish. Um, Obviously, just watching that game's good, but knowing that Rue had was just makes it that little bit better. You know it's grim when Ryan Pappenhausen is scoring two tries and you're not even happy for him. <laughs> I said some really rough shit about Pappy <laughs> off screen. Um, so, yeah, tough tough gig there. Well, that's not fair. Uh, well done, Rue. Seagulls 21 defeat Roosters 14. Seagulls win the comp. We all know that. I took a Manly and Hamole. Hamole scored, like, multiple times, but unfortunately the refs don't like greatness. They don't feel comfortable around it. Uh, you know, it's like a little beta man who's uncomfortable with his wife making all the money. They just weren't comfortable with Hamole going out there and fucking carrying 10 men over the line. Am I cut about it? Yeah, I am. I'm upset for Hamole and upset for me because I would have got three bets this week and just been fucking shitting on all here. Turbo doesn't score. Wong doesn't score. Burma doesn't score for Guru. Uh, <laughs> that's worth pointing out. For the second bet in a row, the lippy has fallen one leg short. Uh, got two legs up, but the third doesn't hit. And Sebo, Turbo and Wong, uh, is Wong overrated? No. Still underrated, boys. And I will die on that lonely, <laughs> lonely hill. <laughs> He's been dropped altogether. Uh, 22 jersey this week for those that don't read Team Less Tuesday. Dolphins 38 absolutely fucking pound the Dragons into the earth. 38 nil. I'll put my hand up and I'll be honest. I was wool pulled by a Dragons round one performance and yep. I don't know why. I w even brought it up saying beware, but still put a dragon strike. Like, you know what I mean? Still fucking did it. It's just like, it's like when you're out fishing and there's a bust up over there and you're like, hey, the birds have stopped, the fish are gone, but you're still waiting there for it to come. Bro, they've moved on. You know what I mean? The Dragons, it was one game, you got tempted in. Uh, I even said it. But I'm glad order has been restored in the universe and we can never put a dragon try screw in a leg again. You know what I mean? But well, I'm angry because I was sitting here last week beating the penis of <laughs> nut trucker Mark Nichols near to death. I mean, it was red raw. He was paying seven fifty, eight bucks, something like that. And I've gone and put Herbie and Hunt in. Herbie and Hunt. What am I doing? When I saw Mark Nichols score in the 47th miss, uh, minute of the game, that's when Nut Truckers score tries, by the way, just after the half, after yeah. they've had a couple of oranges. I was fucking ropeable. Absolutely yeah. ropeable with myself because I've missed an absolute layup. If you went on Mark Nichols last week, shame on you. As far as uh, Woolpools go, I got roped in massively. Sloan and Lomax. <laughs> <laughs> Some people yeah. walk into traps. I sprinted yeah. into this yeah. one with cheese in hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awful. Yeah. Oh, it's a shocker. Yeah. Uh, it's an absolute shocker. Yeah, mousetrap the game where that thing like drops down <laughs> and it just gets through every time. That's right. <laughs> uh, unit scoopers, no one hit. I had the nut truck and multi, Kepi and a Mark Nichols. I was watching the game with my good friend, Rui, Thursday night, live stream the nerd out. If you missed it, shame on you. Uh, I was like, why am I in Sean Kepi? He <laughs> 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 he's just like he's not a he's just not a try scorer. <laughs> he's just not like even when they were around the line, he's not looking for it. He's not running off the back fence, going fucking give it here. I'm going to crash over. Just no interest whatsoever in scoring rugby league tries. Everyone else pretty pathetic, really. Tom two from four, Sebo three from mine, actually no. Yeah. So, so sorry, I apologise. Sebo was close. Yeah, didn't mine, have a sully. Yeah, yeah, but you know who? Yeah, dragon. Mm. I had the last leg, as I said. Two babies in my arms, trying to put them to sleep. Just need a dragon try score. And I just keep walking back into the living room and up and just seeing zero straight away. I just wanted at least a little hope where I walk into the room and see like a 12 next to the dragons so I can somehow check the NRL app yeah. if I have a spare hand, which I didn't. But I just kept seeing zero, so I didn't need to. And I'm like, <laughs> of course it comes down to a dragon try score and fucks my unit scoop up. That's how it goes. Uh, Guru, one from three. Lippy, two from eight. So the big 6,000 to, to fucking one bet was, was nowhere. Hot seat, manly win. So I win and I continue and there will be a trend this week. <laughs> Do not worry about that. Leaderboard. Here we go. I was two from nine, seven from 18 leads, plus 3.8. Pumped you all. 
Lippy, second, minus 5.91, conserving units, zero from nine. Tom, zero from nine, minus 6.67. Sebo, zero from nine, minus 6.87. And poor old Rue, how about this? <laughs> zero from nine, two from 18 legs. <laughs> Minus 7.41. It's not as easy as you all think, yeah. you cunts. So get that up, yeah. Everyone thinks it's easy. Like, even you you post the bet slips and then after the game, after the game, someone's like, why don't you go Trill and Walsh? Obvious bet. Oh, where were you before kickoff? Yeah. Where were you before kickoff? Correct. Rue? I'm going to let my actions do my talking this week, boys. Okay. Um, I'm feeling a bounce back. I'm lying, but I, I'm hoping for a bounce back. I, th- I think I've got something in me this week. Love it. Lippy is still winning the overall leaderboard. After, uh, uh, basically, I've, I've got him. I've come from a long way back, given my triple staked in round one on the Titans. Weird shit. But Lippy's still winning minus 10.18. I'm second, minus 12.2. Sebo, minus 14.27. Guru, minus 14.68. And last, dead last by a long, long, long way. Zero from 19. Tommy Birmingham, minus 19.95 after two rounds of footy. So <laughs> that's pretty fucking brutal. If you were to do the math, he'll be out of money by round 10. No, three times. Five. No, two rounds. 15. No, two rounds. Two, oh, two times five. Yeah, round 10. Round yeah. 10. He'll be out of money by round 10 if you are a patentist. And that accountability all right let's get into it round three of the nrl we get started we get started where edward we get started at panthers stadium panthers take on the broncos uh panthers heavy favorite after the uh injury of adam reynolds amongst others head to head one point uh, one dollar 32 to the panthers 340 broncos lines minus eight and a half and the total points 37 and a half rando talk to me talk dirty to me bro all right, we'll start with the weather on Thursday night. It is 19 degrees and dry there at the foot of the mountains. Uh, the big question, as you mentioned, injuries. Who does it affect more? Uh, we discount round 27 as all players were missing then, but the Bronx without Adam Reynolds were had a 2-1 and one record. The only team they lost to was the Panthers up there at Suncorp. A 1-12 to 12 affair, may I say. Penrith, they're missing James Fisher-Harris. They, are two, they were 2-2, two and two, losing to South and Tigers last last season when he was missing three of those games were one to 12 affairs six of the last seven uh games between the broncos and the panthers have been won by the panthers four of those six wins have been by one to 12 so i do like penrith one to 12 here if you're looking for a scorer nathan cleary has scored in his last two games against the broncos and scored in his last two thursday night games against them as well okay i'm gonna go to rue i'm gonna kick us off here Love that from you. Um, Thanks, Guru. Hearing that, I haven't taken the lid off this. Yeah, no. uh, hearing, uh, <laughs> that's a good start. The bright lights, mate. The bright Very lights. Good start. <laughs> Was that an omen? The bright lights get brighter. Uh, boys, for me, the lights are so bright, I'm wondering if the sun's got closer to us in the last three weeks. Uh, Nathan Cleary, ATS for me. Uh, when, the, uh, when it's getting bright, I turn to a big, big game player to get me out of desperate... Desperate need. Uh, so Nathan Cleary, ATS, $4.75. Had it in there before, Rando. I know what you're thinking, Guru. Did you just come from a Bukaki? No. <laughs> I'm a man struggling. <laughs> struggling with the bright light. So Nathan Cleary, $4.75. <laughs> this will be the bounce back. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That's beautiful, beautiful content. Sebo? I'm going to stick by my prediction that no one has the guts to say that Newcastle could be the felt hat out of fashion, guys. They could drop out of the eight. Now, it's easy for me, people to shit on me for that that like opinion. It is because it's probably going to go wrong. But I don't see how a potential kind of Knights who couldn't – they only – what, they scored 20 against the Cows and the Cows made how many errors, Rando? Like 20 or something like that? I don't see how they score more than 20 against Penrith when last the year – The Knights? Where are you going? Where are you oh, going sorry. with this, mate? I've got the wrong game. <laughs> We're talking Panthers Bronx, bro. <laughs> Thursday night. <laughs> Just keep Dad going. Brain. Say Panthers win oh, thirteen man, plus. Screen, yeah, man. Right, but, okay, um, actually, join the crew. Okay. Dad brain. Put the Dad sunscreen brain. on. Okay. <laughs> Forgot my. You're forgiven. Point. You're forgiven for lack of sleep. I don't. I know what it's like to lose Adam Reynolds as a Bunnies fan. 
Okay. I know what it's like. This is better. Um, and how much it destroys your soul. Now, Rando said some stats that they go okay, sure, but they, they probably beat like the Titans or someone like that. Uh, against Penrith's defence, I don't think they're going to score more than 20, the Broncos. I really don't. Penrith, that what, 12? They let in on average last year. I know the Broncos are the top of the table, but they're missing Adam Reynolds. And then Taruva. I was watching Taruva last week. He scored a couple. He definitely scored one. Um, and I just – I don't really better him. I'm always on the other side. But is he playing right now? They swapped him over last they, week, they which uh, over. fucked he, me over too. Do we know yeah. if he's playing right again this yeah, year? Yeah, he'll probably play right this okay. week. <laughs> Nathan Cleary side, big game. I think they're going to get ball out to him. 395 for only Penrith to score 20-plus and Taruva. Like it. I – I hear what you're saying, Randa, about one to twelve, but I, I like that the Panthers are at home. Obviously, this was the team they came back and dusted in the grand final, and I think that you know there'll be a bit of a message in the sheds. Let's go out there and fucking humiliate these guys, put them to the sword because they're weak at the moment. No Adam Reynolds, Flegler's gone, Farnworth's gone. They're not playing their slickest football. Yeah, they beat the uh, Rabbitohs last week, but as more news comes to hand. I think we start to realise how poor the fucking Rabbitohs are at the moment. I look at 13 plus off the back of a huge defensive effort that I'm predicting by the Panthers. I think they'll choke the Broncos, restrict points, and I think they've got the fucking players obviously to pour it on. I like 13 plus. I love to river on the right edge, and I'm 432 punters and dribblers. Lippy has Panthers plus Walsh 593. Bit of a funky one that, but Walsh is a Walsh can score tries. We know that. And Tommy, who isn't here, has Broncos plus eight and a half into the ghost any time for $7.30. Friday night, 6 p.m. Warriors take on the Raiders at the Apollo Project Stadium. That's in Christchurch, punters and dribblers. Head-to-head, $1.46, plays two seventy. Line, minus six and a half. Total points, 43 and a half. Rando. Uh, classic uh, Friday night conditions here in New Zealand. 13 and cloudy for this one. Interestingly, in the 30 games the Warriors have played in New Zealand outside of their traditional home stadium of Go Media, they've only won eight of them. And they have lost on both occasions to the Raiders in these games. Uh, so I do like the Raiders as a potential upset here to go 3-0. and in Raiders v Warriors games played on Friday, Josh Papali'i is the joint high scorer. He has three tries in five Friday night games against the Wires. He's also scored in two of his last three games in New Zealand. If you're looking for a nut trucker, $7.75 for Big Papa. And he pretty much crashed. Did he crash over on the weekend? Pretty no, sure. I don't like, think so. He didn't so. score, but like he, you know, he was held up or something. Yeah. I don't mind, but uh, I'm not going him. I'm just... Uh, I don't know if everyone's aware, but me, because I listen to all the commentary of every single minute of the game now that I'm trapped at home, <laughs> um, is that the Raiders, like four try scorers uh, last weekend, all scored the weekend before, ex- except for Huddy. Huddy was the only one. So, like, a, like a big lightning bets were on, you know, lightning bets where it's try score score back to back weeks. Huddy let the team down. It would have been five from five, I think. So, I'm thinking Huddy picks up the lightning. I'm going to get him here, get him in. And then Roger. Look, I just got him a super coach team. I love the look of Roger. I always say that when you, if you were in like the Anzacs in Gallipoli, if you like, and you hadn't met many New Zealands before, and then you come across and you see Roger leading a platoon, you're like, can I maybe join your, your platoon? <laughs> like, you look like a guy that I can just get behind. Just the look of you, dude. Yeah, he's um, very hot. And he deserves and a try. Yeah, he's hot, huge. Uh, just seems like a great guy, a leader. Um, so seven eighty for those two, yeah. Game one hundred nice. for Huddy too. Is it game yeah, one hundred? There you go. Uh, and Roger obviously trial us through the season so far. Rue, what do you like, bro? I actually really like Sabo's bet, to be honest with you. Uh, but mine. You do have the ability, just so you're aware of doing the old control V controls. Yeah. No C yeah. control V. You have to copy the entire bet. You can't take legs, so it's either a straight copy or a. Just so you know. Yeah. yeah. Just because you may not be aware of that. Seems pretty cowardly to me. I'm going to back <laughs> up um, Okay, I'm going to take Torpiki at fullback for the New Zealand Warriors. Obviously, Chan's uh, returning over the next few weeks. I like his running game. I'm going to take him. And the Raiders, I do not have the slightest fucking clue what they're going to do in attack week to week. I will take the fastest guy on the field, Xavier Savage. He saluted for you last week, I believe. He did. Yeah, I'm going to back him in. So 760 uh, Torpiki into Savage in that one. I love Torpiki. 
Like, the way he moves, you're like, can this guy stay in the team? He came down from Queensland Cup playing for Burley, and his nickname up there was The Magician. Yeah. Is that right? I love, yeah. Yeah, he looks like it. It's like, keep him in. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying him. I I think the Warriors were pretty fucking gallant in defeat, obviously, last week against the Storm. Really tough place for them, historically, to go to Melbourne and get the chocolates. Obviously, they didn't get them, but they had a nibble before they were stopped. Now, they go back home. Obviously, they're not at Go Meter in Auckland, but they're back home with their people. I just, I think that they would be of the opinion that they need to get this fucking win. Like, to go 0-3 with the side they've got would not be good enough. But then I know for a fact that Ricky would be going, let's just go over there and drag him down into the fucking muck again and just make it a bit of a shitter. And maybe we can grind a win out that way. So with that in mind, I think the Warriors need to win, but I think the bookies know that it's going to be tight. I look at that line of six and a half, and I'm going to move it down to four and a half. I'm going to take the uh, the total points of, I think it's 40 and 43 and a half. I'm going to move it out slightly to 47 and a half. Give myself breathing room, punters and dribblers. And Luke Metcalf, who's impressed me the last couple of weeks, I can just see him fucking showing and going for $7.25. The lippy. Warriors, 1 to 12, 255. That's, it's bold. Because if it doesn't come off, you start to leak big time. He's looking good, Metcalf, isn't he? He is. Mm-hmm. Real. He's looking real good. He's starting to come of age. Looking real good. He's almost Met Cow. <laughs> Do you like that one? <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, well, Met God. Steer. How long were you thinking of that Met one? Met Bull. <laughs> Met Bull. The big fella. That was good from you, Roo. Thank You've you. You've been on Thank fire you. today, brother, for someone that sucks at punning. Uh <laughs> <laughs> The big one, Friday night, the old rivalry, the book of feuds, punters and dribblers. Roosters, Rabbits, Allianz. Great stadium, by the way. Thank you. Just a quick thanks to the New South Wales government for building that thing. I know it was massively over budget, but I'm a big fan of it. Huge fan. Thank you very much for your work. Head-to-head, $1.62 plays the Rabbitohs, two thirty. I mean, fucking different-looking sides. Mm. Different-looking sides this week. I... I get the feeling that Trent's not happy with the Roosters. If you saw them last week against the Seagulls, they weren't great. The Rabbitohs have dropped fucking uh, Ilias. The big fair, Ilias after two rounds. <laughs> Demetrio all through the newspaper, all through the fucking headlines at the moment. Like, this could be anything, to quote the bloke on the right of me. What are you thinking? He Weber. actually, no, $1.62, 230 head to head. Lines minus three and a half, total points 39 and a half. Rando. 21 and dry at Allianz Stadium. As you mentioned, a few personnel changes, particularly in the halves. Dean Hawkins brought into the side. The Rabbits were 0-2 when he started last year. Keary out for the first time since 2022. The Roosters were 1-2 in that season with those two losses coming to Penrith and Parra, who were the eventual grand finalists. But the big stat line here is that South Sydney haven't beat the Roosters at Allianz on a Friday night since 1994. The Chooks have won their last nine straight games. So I do like them here. Uh, seven out of those nine wins have been by minus three and a half. So it covers that line. So do like that. Dom Lung, Dom Lung, Dom Young looks to be the strike option at two bucks here. Rabbitohs have leaked four tries down their left edge. And when Sam Walker has been leading in the halves, the right wing has cashed in in two of the three games. Did you say that Luke Keary hasn't missed a game since 2020? He played all game, every game in 2023. Wow, that's impressive. Me too. I, thought, I was quite shocked there. I thought I was, he was going to miss one. There you go. Well, for a man that's had some some issues, mm. I actually thought he might have missed more than that. Guru? Okay, so uh, I think all three of us have got the same guy in our bet, Jack Whiten. Um, if he doesn't score in his return in this game, I think something has gone seriously wrong on his South Sydney debut. Um, I've gone Jack Whiten and mentioned that Luke here is out. The guy that comes in to replace him, Sandon Smith, I think this kid is an absolute gun. I actually think there's a world where the Roosters look better with Sandon Smith than they do with Kiri. So I'm very excited to see this kid get an opportunity. He's got a great running game. Uh, you saw him come on in the finals last year and he absolutely dominated the Roosters. I think they went to week two of the finals. I personally don't think they would have made it to the finals if Sandon Smith wasn't in the team. So I think you're getting something like sevens or something for him this week. I really like the value on Sandon Smith. So Whiten, I think that's a layup into my boy Sandon Smith, $21.60. You can't argue with those odds. Yeah. No. They're serious odds. And I will be having a nibble at sand on yeah, Smith any time. Not in my bet here today, punters and dribblers, but know this. Friday afternoon, as I pour myself a, a stiff tequila, I will be putting a sand on Smith bet on. 
Talk to me, Seba. Yeah, look. You know what game? You know what game we're talking about? I know about, what though. game we're talking <laughs> about because I can relate to this game. My punting journey last year was a lot like South's uh, season. How I came out strong, I was up like nearly fifty percent, then like fell off a cliff and came like second last. Um, <laughs> that's basically what happened to me last year. Um, yeah, that is and what we're, now we're mirroring each other again. Like uh, you can throw out a lot of stats, but I feel Booker feuds. This one, you throw it out because these two teams, especially South, it's kind of like. I haven't been to a dog fight before underground <laughs> somewhere in Southeast Asia, <laughs> but they starve I those things. I should hope not. Yeah, <laughs> they starve the things or like Ramsey in Game of Thrones, like they starve the dogs, get them all hungry, right? And I feel this is a dog fight. South <laughs> are literally starved of credibility, points. Like they used to kind of be like samurai warriors going at it, like just like honourable teams who just are fucking slick. Now we're just like just start. And I... Me, I don't have any time to eat breakfast other than a Wonder White piece of toast with a bit of butter in it. Sometimes I don't even have time for a spread. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm kind of – and who do you want in a dogfight? If you could pick one person in a dogfight in this matchup, who's got the most dog in him? Yeah, it's Jack Whiten. It's Whiten, yeah. 370. So there's just a lot of parallels for me personally coming into this game to take that 370. I really like that bet. It's pure. It's simple. Yeah. It's unadulterated. You can. It's not confusing. You know what I mean? You're not trying too hard. You're just rocking up and going, I'm picking the biggest dog in the fight or the dog with the most fight in it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. I also have Jack Whiten for obvious reasons, reasons uh, as explained by Sebo and as, as explained by Guru. I look at these two teams and I just see imperfection. I just see disjointedness. I see a lack of synergy. I see a lack of... Uh, polish. I don't. I don't see any boot polish on those two teams. I just think that what you're going to see on Friday night is two old enemies, the oldest of enemies, going fucking toe to toe and not giving an inch. And with that in mind, I think points hopefully will be hardish to come by. So I like either team less than twelve and a half into Jack Whiten, who surely scores on debut. That's five forty six. I like our matchup too. Jack Whiten going against Joey Manu. Yeah, I like to have a little. Hunt on the centre against Manu. So, and I love that it's the three of us that have gone one. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, others don't get it. Tommy Birmingham, Chooks minus three and a half into Tupo into Butcher. I'm, a, I'm guessing Nat. 11.51 punters and dribblers. That bet makes me feel absolutely nothing. <laughs> Pathetic, even. Uh, Lippy, Roosters plus Dommy, 268. Eh. Like, I can, I, you know, if I see Roosters win by fucking 14 points, 20, even 20 points, I wouldn't be shocked if Dommy didn't score. Yeah. Look, this lippy. That's very short for that. That's got, extremely short for that. Forgot to introduce the guy. He got a unit scooper last week. It wasn't that big odds, but you know what it was? It was essentially a box of favourites, but all the home teams. So he bet on every home team and he got the pick the round. So I was like, that can get you in because there's a bit of constitution behind the bet. But again, it was quite safe because a lot of them were favourites, right? So he's gone like that in his tips here. Uh, his name is Thomas Torzok. T O R Z. Thomas Torzok. Torz, like Torz. T O R Z S O K. I prefer Tall Sock. Tall Sock. <laughs> if you don't mind. Yeah. Makes it more memorable. You know what I mean? Son of a bloke who used to wear long socks. Yeah. <laughs> Not long socks, tall socks. I love playing that game when you take someone's last name and you yeah. try to figure out where their lineage comes oh, from. Oh, yeah, it's weird shit. Yeah. yeah, it's weird shit. I tell you who's getting around the DMs as well, who's just hitting some really big multis, Jace Legacy. Is, <laughs> is he? Yeah, Jace is trying to get back on. Is his, Jace sniffing <laughs> around? Did he win when he was on? No, but he's been he's been DMing me some slips, and I'm like, okay, Jesus, Jace. okay, yeah. Well, maybe <laughs> it will, we hit one more, Jace, and you're on, bruh. That is Roosters and Rabbitohs. We go to Bulldogs Titans the Saturday afternoon shitter at Belmore Sports Stadium. Dogs back at Belmore. Head to head, dollar eighty five plays a dollar ninety six. The line is nice and tight, minus one and a half, and total points forty three and a half. Rando. 
Uh, first of all, the weather for Saturday, all three games being played in Sydney, low 20s and dry. Uh, the Bulldogs, they have lost their last 13 games in the 3 p.m. Saturday time slot. They've only won twice in their last 11 games at Belmore as well. So I am leaning towards the upset here of the Titans. Philip Sammy is on a five-game hot streak against the Dogs, and a right-edge player has scored in two of the three games that Keanu Keeney has played at fullback. He's $2.45 as well, Sammy. Is that right? I'm going to kick things off. <clears throat> Bulldogs, Titans. The Lions are dollar, uh, uh, is one and a half points, obviously, so the bookies don't know the fuck's going to win. The Bulldogs suck. The Titans have been ordinary. Still missing for feeder and Jaden Campbell, I believe, four and comes back in. But um, uh, you, you can't honestly tell me you know who's going to win this football game. There's just no fucking way that anyone on this planet knows. So when you don't know, you slip onto a double ender. You slide onto one and you have a bit of a fun. Carney P, who saluted a lot for us last mm. year and did score in round one, I like the look of. And Jacob Preston, because, again, the bloke's a toiler. He's a fucking workhorse and he's in a shitter. And I like blokes that roll up their sleeves when you're playing in the muck. That's 651. Rue? I uh, look at this game and it really is the first who gives a fuck cup of the year <laughs> for me. I have no idea how this is going to play out. I have no idea how either team's going to perform. I still don't know if Kieran Foran's actually going to play or not. We'll wait and see. Uh, and boys, it's at Belmore Oval. And I just think, how can you ignore the weak gutter dog playing his first game at Belmore? The dog crosses at 8.25, playing lock forward. He'll play decent minutes. I'm taking him every day of the week. Like it. Like it. Yep. Sebo? Uh, look, I used to play quite serious competition tennis back in the day. Um, <laughs> and it used to frustrate the absolute fuck out of me. Now, I won a couple of trophies. I'm talking second division stuff, not, not anything proper. But you'd go out and there was a lot of inconsistencies against your matchups. And for some reason, when you went and played the guy who was actually shit, you'd lose to him because he, he brings you down to his level. Yes. He hits a soft ball saying you try hit your normal swing and it's just, it's all out of whack. And you're like, I'm losing to the guys I'm meant to be beating. Yeah. Um, and so for a shit game like this, I'm just going into a shit bet. I'm not trying to make a fast swing something attractive. I'm just going <laughs> dumb crap bet to suit the game. Under 43 and a half points. And then the second leg, to combine for two or more tries, Campriera, Tracy, um, and Crichton. It's just a shit bet, $5.04 for a shit game because I'm just trying to play on the level of it. Unders is bold. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it's a shit. That's the point, though, right? Like, I would, I'm, Unders is bold. Yeah. Oh, no, I get it. Yeah. It's a shit bet. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not swinging true. You're not yeah. swinging to the rafters. Yeah. yeah. You're rolling out, make shit. I need to adjust. Yeah. No, like, listen, there's a world where this comes off for that yeah. very reason. Yep. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> the champ. <laughs> Dead last is here. Dead last. You don't even have a mic, mate. You don't have a mic. You don't have a seat. You don't have a camera. I'm in. I'm in. How we doing? He's going to stand up or what? Kick out Burton any time, 1592. <laughs> Fucking lock it in. <laughs> <laughs> that will not come off from Mr. Dead Last. No, he's running at Blaze, whatever his name is. I'm like, man, whilst I respect a Blaze, where's the microphone? Whilst I respect any rugby league player called Blaze, I could also be wrong. He would have shocked It's also up. the wrong game, but continue. You're on a hot streak here. Kick out Burton. <laughs> oh, Titans. Is there a Blaze in the Titans or is no, that no, power? <laughs> Huge <laughs> trouble early. Huge <laughs> trouble early. Could I get a, just a quick update on the uh, where I'm sitting on the ladder? Dead last, okay. minus 19.92. Look, I'll, listen, yeah, I'll I'll fucking know. tell you how pathetic you are. Whilst uh, Eddie's Sorry, getting that quick right. update on the club, Blaze telling he plays for it is the Parramatta Eels. <laughs> <laughs> Huge problem. So just uh, so Tom comes in here late. Uh, he smells. I smell good. Don't lie about it. No, you smell. Uh, your smell breath good. stinks. Uh, he's He thinks Blaze plays for the Titans or the fucking Dogs. Who knows? He plays for the Eels. He's none from 19, 0% of his bets, 12 from 47 legs, that's 25%. Units minus 19.95. We worked it out before you were here, brah, that after 10 rounds, and this is round three this week, you're out of money and you're off the show. Look, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I, uh, I'm up against it. I'm in the fight of me life. Um, what I will say is that I was correct with the Blaze thing. I was actually just a couple of games early. I did mean Hamole. 
But listen, it's been one of those mornings for me. I'm not going to come here and make excuses. Everyone knows I'm not an excuses guy. I'm a fucking front up and take me lick sort of operator. Tough start to come in and say blaze when I was wrong. That's rattled me. Um, but we, we move on. 19 units is very doable. <laughs> Get some sunscreen on you too. Uh, and the last bet of that fixture, the Lippy has the Titans to win at $1.96. So this guy's, it's all or nothing. But I will say this, if he doesn't hit any of the bets this week, you, you just lose the money for your Lippy your lippy mates because last year you almost ran out of money the lippy yeah. this week not only is he just vanilla ice cream he's black and gold vanilla <laughs> ice cream oh it yeah he's sucks. cheap stuff and it's on special because it's about to go off very ordinary on we go tommy's back tommy's here kids back kids back uh we move on dragons take on the cowboys at net strata jubilee it's just the worst name in the history of stadiums but it's it's by the by. Dragons two eighty, Cowboys dollar forty four. The line plus seven and a half. Total points forty three and a half. Rando, my dog. Uh, a lot of interesting records for both teams here. I'll start with the Cowboys, and don't worry, I'm not going to go all pro Cowboys on you. Last year, the Cows were one and five in Sydney at night, and are one and five at Net Strata since two thousand and three. The Dragons, on the other hand, they are 1-5 and five after being kept to nil the week before and have lost their last four games against the Cowboys. So you guys work that one out. In terms of try scorers, Kaylee Ravalawa, he has scored in each of his last five games against the Cowboys and scored in each of his last three games at Cogra. It's $2.10 to score any time this weekend. $2.10 for Ravalawa is actually not the worst in the world. $2.10 is the best try has scorer. Has he scored this year? He hasn't on the left, no. Well, they were kept scoreless last week, and then and he didn't score around. Didn't one. score around one. I'm so, I'm so I'm just so hurt by the Dragons after last week. You know what I mean? Like I mm. think we all were like, and I, I'm also hurt at myself. Like yeah. I'm I'm actually we went more, through, we went through how pissed off at ourselves. Yeah, we I'm more upset at myself than anything else. But like the Dragons, it's like it's like a being in like I guess like being mistreated by someone, right? Like mm. they're constantly mistreating me. So like, and then I'm like, oh, I'll forgive them. They'll change. And they don't change. They never change. They're the worst fucking rugby league team in the competition. But I also don't trust them. Like, do you know what I mean? I don't, I need, I need to learn to trust again. And I don't trust. So I'm just going two cows to score. Tao Lungi is pretty like, I'm pretty optimistic that that'll just happen. And then I just like a Robson, bit of Val. I think he was like five something. I looked at Reese. He only scored two tries last year, so that put me off him. Well, that's awful. That's <laughs> awful news. But five twenty again. It's just like they're an unknown commodity. A little bit. The Dragons. The cows are looking good. So fuck it. What is it? What is a shit team do? They got shit marker defense. They're just lazy shit, right? So I'm just hoping that. And I think uh, JMK scored last week. No, I don't know. I don't know how he did it. He may have just got a ball and fucking run twenty. Jumped meters. out a dummy half. Bang. Beautiful. Robson anytime. Tao Lungi, you're going to get 11.27. Rue? Uh, fills me with confidence again that the big three on this panel are uh, myself, Sebo, Eddie, all gone Kyle <laughs> Felton. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. I've, oh, got a, wow. I've got a real feel. Wow, the big three. What's fucking Kyle Felt paying? Oh, $2.10, favourite to score, the big three. There's a lot of rando about that, to be fair. Uh, well, it's no good. disrespect, <laughs> rando. Oh, Obviously, you know, you've come to Jeez, you just one. come in here late and just rip <laughs> well, <laughs> But big, big three in terms of uh, moving the needle and in terms of <laughs> leaderboard. Yeah, well, I can't argue with that, unfortunately. I've gone uh, Kyle Felt off the f back of uh, Felt Hatgate last week uh, into Val Holmes, who uh, had the worst game of his career potentially last week, dropping balls left, right and centre. I think he bounces back this week. He's into the Gurus Grizzlies super coach team, which I like. $6.32 Felt and Val. I was on Val last week, let me down miserably. Did he not score? No. no. No, I did not. He, oh. he went over, but they ruled it back ah, for an yeah. obstruction. That hurt. Me? Uh, look, I'm trapped in one of those loops. Everyone gets in a loop uh, where you just go on a try scoring, doesn't get over, go on him again, doesn't get over. You need to do three times to close the loop. You know what I mean? I'm closing the loop on Scotty Drink. Uh, either it bangs or I can move on and not do it for an, at least until after Origin. Um, so I'm closing the loop on him. And it also felt, um, geez, like, I mean, I had him in my unit scooper last week, but that little trick play that they nearly put on and he scored, like, they go down that side a bit and he looks good. Uh, 522, closing the loop bet. <laughs> Felt goes over. Underrated movie, Looper. 
Oh, I really like I it like as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like fun. it's uh, Bruce Willis Bruce and Joseph Gordon Levitt. Yeah. Um, and they're like Looper, go back in time and like kill people. I for thought like, I was. I'm know. thinking of Jumper. No, not that one. And em- Emily Blunt. I think she can. Oh, she's she's, that, no, she's, in, she's in a couple of those like time. Yeah, time, the one with Tom movie. Cruise. She she's the in all the good the shit. And you're shit. like, yeah. shout out Emily Blunt. You're in all the good action stuff. Wasn't that? Wasn't that? I don't think that title. Cameron correct. Diaz. Yeah, Night and Day was Cameron Diaz yeah. and Tom what's Cruise. The, but what's the day? Not day after tomorrow. That one with Tuck and Tom Cruise, where it's like the morning after tomorrow, and they go back. That's the time travel one, right? Oh, the um, Vanilla Scott. No, no, no. Oh, no. Minority Report. No, 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 no. They go back in time with Tom Cruise. Yeah, Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt. And they oh keep no, that, yeah, and going back it's called. It's got two titles. It's called uh, like uh, something Die Repeat, and then it's also called oh, yeah, that's right, Live Die uh, Repeat. Live Die Repeat, but it's also called something else. But I think that's pa- fucked. People needed like a simpler title, like Edge of Tomorrow. Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah. Great movie, by the way. If you yeah. need a good movie, good action movie, T Cruise, and you're like, I don't normally like sci-fi. This is one of those ones that like goes beyond. The genre, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> T- you, they live and they die and then they and they live again. They yeah. repeat. Yeah, yeah, they do it again. Love it. I like a Kyle coming up against the Dragons. Why? Because I just think that the Dragons are such a plain Jane rugby league side that sometimes you need a, a, a plain Jane try scoring name to get the job done. Kyle Felt, who I wasn't vocal enough about last year in terms of our sort of romance that we had, but he banged a lot for me last year. Banged a lot. So I'm going to fucking back the boy in here. Felt double six bucks. It'd it'd be good to get some stats like at the end of a season on like... I'm not prepared to do that. No, I know you're not. Well, no, that's not... That's (laughs) grunt work, not for you, but you know, like we find someone... Yeah, who... will do it. As in like, who did you... Who's your bang who, most? Well, who did you fuck the most yeah. last year? You <laughs> yeah. know who what I mean? I like that. You but know? Felt worked his dick off. I tripled him a couple of times last year and saluted. So big fan of his rugby league work. Felt double. Six bucks. Lippy, Cowboys minus seven and a half. This bloke, again, black and gold, vanilla ice cream on special sort of operator. I... <sighs> I'm not worried, though, because I'm just not getting a great vibe from his bets. I just can't believe that he's obviously smashed Sebo for months with DMs to come on here and tip lines and head to heads. It's fucking weak, isn't it? It's disgraceful. Like, like if you're gonna, I can't win a bet to fucking save myself. But at least I'm not this dude. <laughs> <laughs> at least you've got a bit of honour, mate. Tigers, Sharks, Tigers, Sharks, punters and dribblers. Tigers four twenty five plays a dollar twenty two Saturday night Leichhardt Oval. Our mate Cody will be there with his Birkenstocks on and a tote bag uh, to watch his team get absolutely humped. Line, 12.5 and a half points, total points, 45 and a half. So they expect rugby league tries. What do you reckon, Rando, brah? I reckon that plus 12 and a half line for the Tigers is pretty tasty. They have won eight of their last 12 night games at OHS Stadium. I, I mean, Leichhardt. Uh, Tigers' left side defense is shocking. In the last 26 games, they have Good conceded. For you, Rando. F- Thank Sorry, you. Mate. Sorry. I've seen Guru just put up shots about Metcalf and Cow. I thought I might have a crack too. Um, in the last 26 <laughs> games, uh, in the last 26 games, the Tigers have conceded 42 line breaks to the right center and wing. Jesse Raymond, Ramian pops up. Here he has scored in his last three games against the Tigers. Sebo, what do you reckon, mate? What do you make of all that? I think this might be the first uh, kind of yeah bloodbath chum game of the year where it's going to be like forty plus like scored and you just like pick try scorers. That that's why the odds are short on them. But um, I love those games. Mm. Uh, Tigers partake in a lot of them. Though they actually did it to the cows last year as well. They, they're the ones who actually scored, but then the cows came back and put like 80 on them. Thanks, um, mate. I've been going to therapy every day since. <laughs> for that fucking hell. So I'm just going some classic favourite try scorers. Talakai, Katoa and Mulatalo, 9.31. Yeah, but I just feel like I hate missing out on like the kind of bloodbath chum games. I really do. When you try overthink it and just like, just go the favourite shit because it could be 50 to 6. It really could be. Um I know defences are a bit more tighter at the beginning of the season, but did you see the try Savage scored against the Tigers? Pretty much had their backs to him. Um, <laughs> like, if you're if defense are, it's tighter in round two, it's, uh, backs are to him. Like, come on. Um, so, yeah, this could be the start of uh, the Tigers' downfall, maybe. Though I do like the Tigers. Um, well, I like the players, but, yeah, that's me, dude. Uh, yeah. Guru? 
Uh, yeah, keep in mind for the Tigers this week, it is, you know, bounce back week, rebound week, round two. So I'm expecting at Leichhardt for them to show a pulse at least. Um, I we all taking, said that for when old yeah. mate. Who was but there? it's round three now, isn't it? And also, they had the bye week one, no. Rodon- well, that's what I, mean, I always think about the Radonikas <laughs> game where it was like absolutely jam packed. You could not buy a ticket to save your own life, and they roll out a big procession, and people are crying, and there's a guard of honor. Tommy Radonikas, club legend, they got forty put on. His jersey was sitting there on a chair, which was almost <laughs> actually the most disrespectful thing ever. They could only mount it on like a plastic chair that they just like hung on yeah. the fucking oh. thing as he was running under the oval. A couple of pegs on the back. But please the continue game. about uh, the Tigers bouncing back. Yeah, oh, look, I don't think they're going to win, but I don't think they're going to get demolished in this game. Uh, when you're at Leichhardt, I will take Buller, the fullback. Uh, I'm not quite sure where else they score points from. So Buller and, mate, I'm taking Talakai, but my God, I hate when we're all on. One dude. That's mm. scary. It's not a great sign that we're all on Talakai. It rarely comes off. I, um, again, you, you predict a fucking, but you never know if you're going to get a fucking or not, especially with the Tigers. But I've just got Talakai 2 plus 15 bucks. I actually think that's pretty good value considering the Tigers suck. But it's, it's an unknown commodity. And as the leaderboard would suggest, punters and dribblers, I'm not picking them early. So I would be... And I assume you're already doing this, not following me. <laughs> I I don't like the rule on Talakai. However, if Talakai scores and I'm not on him, I'll have FOMO. <laughs> and I'm prepared to avoid FOMO and, and you know, go down swinging, so to speak, than for you to all bang and me to be upset sitting by myself holding my own penis. I'm on Talakai, who's been sniffing about, and I think if you're going to score, bro, it's going to be against the Tigers most likely, and Will Kennedy, because the guy's a fucking specimen. $6.45, which I think for that, for those two, is pretty fucking good against the Tigers. Lippy, Sharks win? Like, what are Safe. We, what are we doing, Sex bro? Socks on. Ronaldo and Hines. Hines could hurt you here, son. I don't like that for six forty nine. Putting a Hines in there. He fucked me. And I don't want to say he fucked me, but he let me down last Break week. Break even of what this week? 200 and fucking 60 or something? Yeah, it's high. Uh, yeah, I'm finding more and more. Trindle's sort of getting in his way a little bit, I think. So I do not like him as a super coach. I'm selling him this week, by the oh, way. Yeah. Boys, there's a statement for you. I almost beat you in super coaches, by the way, after all the shit you gave me. I think I lost by like 50 points. Do you even play all 17 players most Well, of no, week? dude. They looked at my team. <laughs> I had fucking Jack White and Billy Smith in my side. Neither of them were playing. Or Harley Smith Shield. I hadn't looked in fairness, but I still almost beat you. So. When I score 950 and Tom hits me with, I almost beat you, I only lost by 50. I've got to tell you, it's the least insulting thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, so the yeah. Lippy Sharks win Ronaldo Hines 649 Dog shit Absolute poo We move on to Game of the round I think Really If you've been fair income Eels Seagulls Combank Eels are favourites At $1.88 Which makes fucking No sense Seagulls $1.92 Line minus one and a half Total points 41 and a half Dripping in value If you fucking If you're about the, the away side Randa Surely you got stats to back up my boys uh, I'll start with the sense check On why Parramatta are the favourites They've won 11 of their 13 Sunday games They've played at Combank They've won 4 of their 5 games Against Manly at Combank 2 Now for my job security With Turbo The Seagulls have won 11 of their last 13 Sunday games And won their only Sunday game Against the Eels at Combank Keeping on that Turbo vibe He has scored 5 tries In his last 4 games at Combank He has scored 17 Whoa, jeez Don't Poor drop Titanic. the Titanic it's only a one of one, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Turbo has scored 17 tries in 13 games on Sunday. He's only once not scored in the first three games of the season. Speaking of round three, he's scored a double in three of his last four round three games. So Turbo, 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 but I don't know if it's a bad omen that the Titanic just sunk off the top of the platform there. Jesus Christ, don't say that. I love that Tommy 2+, plus because I've got it. I feel um, Tommy owes everyone a try from Vegas, right? Like, he, we're all owed a try. We have a super coach or in a bet. He owes us a try somewhere, and I think he gets one as well. Hamole's also owed a try. So I'm going Tommy 2+, plus Hamole 34-44. I don't hate that. Hamole definitely owed one. 
Hamole owed one. Tommy owed me one from last week. I would have got my Tommy bet had he scored. I'm not holding any grudges. This is a bold play from me because I'm a Manly fan. I just want to be bold. And as I think I said when I walked in here frazzled from a morning of absolute unbridled chaos, I... Was, I had Blaze on the brain because the name like Blaze just – you can't get that out of your head. There's a Blaze, there's a Haze, there's Days, there's fucking a Forgiveness I saw in the, the – there's a, a dude called Forgiveness in the Tigers lower grades. I've had NRL players' names on the brain. So I was thinking Blaze when I walked in here. I got confused. Hamole, I believe, running at Blaze, the new guy. Blaze Taolangi, or forgive me, Blaze, uh, for getting your name wrong. But Amale's just going to trample him. We start well, as evidenced by the Roosters. We just like we don't mind throwing the ball around. So we're going to be attacking him early. This is how I see it. Amale running at Blaze. Blaze shits his rugby league dax. Amale goes over first try, scoring nineteen dollars. Shits his rugby league dax. The fact that Manly aren't favourites is just one of the greatest insults I've ever fucking read. Manly win and win well. Hamole owed a couple last week. Scores at least one. 375 they're going to give you to run at this Blaze character. Good luck, bruh. Mm. You need 10 blokes to stop Hamole, and they just don't have the cattle to stop him. It's as simple as that. Jackson Paulo played a right last week and goes up against old friend of the show, Morgan Harper, of Tough Night at Shark Park fame a couple of years ago. Not known for his defensive efforts. And I just think that's a fucking layout for Paulo out there on the wing. $13.42, you roll that all together. That's houses, punters and dribblers. Houses. He's also not quick no, he's to not. have him on the wing. And Jackson's, Jackson's been looking pretty good. Like Jackson's, last he's week, an he athlete. He's an athlete. He's an athlete. Thirteen forty two. that gets up 1,000%. Uh, I've got the overs here, set at 41.5. I think we get a high-scoring affair, some really entertaining footy on Sunday. Uh, I've taken Tom's approach. I've gone with Garrick marking up against Blaze Tellingy there. I think he crosses. Boys, I think some of your outside backs, there is some wild value here to get. Ruben Garrick at $3. Tommy Turbo at two forty five. Really like Turbo at two forty five. That's I, a horny amount, isn't it? That's actually a great point. Girl. I will say this. Stubby Cooler, three sixty. Jesus There's Christ. value there. There is Cherry Evans value doesn't there. mind a try, four twenty five. <laughs> Benny Turbo, five twenty. Fucking oath. Yeah, well, I'll be throwing my I'm gonna metaphorical the- bat at oh, a few yeah, of those yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this gets worked way. into the ground. Now, I have to say it, and I know I'm probably going to get attacked at the table, but I have to point it out. Um, we do on Beers and Break Evens, we read out the top scorer for each week. And the top scorer this week, his um, team name was Turbo's Hammy, which had me a little bit nervous after I Captain Dim took him for any time try scorer. Am I provoking any feelings here, boys? I'm that's not just, listening to you. No, nah, look, I mean, that's Can't just... It's, is it, are we talking about top scorer across the entire Supercoach in the whole... In beers and break Okay, over. right. Well, that just sounds like some mean-spirited cuck, so fuck that guy, respectfully. Or girl. Fuck him. I'm not worried. I've got my hands on wood, though, as well. Yep. You know what I mean? Garrick, Turbo, overs, 9.47 for me. And the lippy, manly win. At least he knows what he's doing. At least he knows a what he's doing. But a dollar ninety-two. What a boring kind of well, favourites now. listen. No. Are they? No, they're not favourites. No, dollar ninety two, dollar eighty eight, dollar ninety two. I this bloke, although he obviously he buys vanilla ice cream, he I'm getting big. Sort of sits there and watches his wife with another bloke vibe. I just am. <laughs> I just you know, yeah. it's, it's a vibe I'm getting. I'm there's not an armchair you, I'm, in the bedroom. There's an armchair in the there? bedroom, or he likes to like he's 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 forced into the cupboard. You know what I mean? Mm. That sort of type of operator, mm. forced to watch. Eyes glued open, sort of, sort of thing. It, uh, and I don't want to impugn this brand, right? Like this is a stand-up brand, but like seems like a bit of a Rivers guy. Oh, uh, but not just checkered a Rivers shirt. guy. Rivers warehouse, it, it, you know but what I mean? like just checkered shirt, tucked in, yep. sensible pants, but but too big, too big. But they're sensible. Oh, they're you sensible. Know, he, he shops sensibly. Yes, he you does. You know what I mean? Yes, he does. Boat shoes. Uh, never had reverse cowgirl. Combs his hair. Never had reverse cowgirl. He's watched his wife. Get into reverse cowgirl, but he has never had it himself. That's, that's my vibe. That's the vibe. Just a sense check. Uh, final game of the round. Knights take on the Storm. Knights take on the Storm. McDonald Jones Stadium. Can they write horrible round one, round two wrongs? Dollar seventy eight. They are favourite. Storm two oh five. They are missing Hughes. They are missing Munster. They are missing Nelson. Nelson. So big outs. Line minus one and a half. Total points forty and a half. 
Rando for the final time, my bra. Uh, 24 and dry on, at Newcastle. Also dry for that Eels Manly game as well. Tread carefully with this one. It's the first time that Munster and Hughes have both missed a proper NRL game, not a round 27 match, since round 11, 2021. They won that game 34 to 10 for the record. The Knights, they haven't won a round three game since 2015, uh, losing six times and drawing twice. So if you're looking for a draw, there's an option there. Bradman Best, though, looks the best here. He has scored in three of his four games against the Storm. The Storm have conceded 50% of their tries this year to left attacks. Guru? Uh, I love the Bradman Best call. I also think you've got Jack Cogger coming in this week. He'll play on the left side, I believe. Uh, and you've also got Greg Marshu out. So I can see... Um, I can see... KP getting some real good ball down that left edge. Normally it goes straight to Greg Marshew. I can see Bradman Best getting a lot of good ball in this game. So I really like him. Uh, I've paired him up with another half that's coming into this game who I really like, Tyrant Wishart from Gerringong. Uh, good running game. I think Melbourne, they'll be a little bit out of sorts in this game. So I'm expecting the halves to run quite a bit. And Wishy's a guy that uh, he can just pull something out of his ass. And I think he's a really good value in this game. So I've got Bradman Best and Wishart. $17.10 in this one. Nice pedigree, too. Mm, very good pedigree. Shout out to the Wishart's. Mm. Terrific football. Shout and out family. to Rod Wishart and his Rod. calves. <laughs> Rod, Wishart. Rod Wishart could still play, and that's yeah. no bullshit. Yeah. Sebo? Crack an egg on his abs. <laughs> um, I hate these sort of games when, like, spine players are out. I don't know what's going on. Um, again, as I said earlier in the show, I uh, thought the Knights were maybe, yeah, potentially the felt hat going out of form and fashion. So I'm just going to take the storm. They seem like a team who, when players are out, can kind of get up for defence. I oh, not even letting Penrith get a single point the other week. Um, and then Ponga, just because I sold him in Supercoach, I just thought, you know what? If he's going to come and fuck me, at least make some money off it. So uh, 6.46, probably my least favourite game to punt on this week. But sometimes that's where you get up. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if the Storm won this game. I think they would. I, I really wouldn't be surprised if they won. It's the sort of game the Storm will, would win, you know? Everyone's like, well, the Knights have to win. They're at home. They've lost the first two games. The Knights, we've been over this. They're not that fucking good. They're not that fucking good. They've changed their half. The big Greg Marju's out, who's like one of their elite guys. I, I can see the Storm winning. But to protect myself from a tight defeat, I'm going to push the line out to seven and a half. I'm going to go unders because I think that you're going to see a lot of shit or at least a lot of defence trying to fucking dictate terms here. I'm moving the line out, the total points out to 44 and a half, and I'm putting Pap in because the guy's a fucking machine. Absolute machine. You get 520. I... I'm like, you know, I came in late, so I don't want to like come in and start throwing stones, even though I did it basically from the outset. But that's a disgusting looking bet. And I just mean it with like every fiber of my being. It's a shit game to punt on, but that bet's gross. Yeah, you Ex want at least like an 76 or something that's for it. Fucking, at least. That's just yeah. physically <laughs> disgusting to look at. The, but I've pushed the lines out. It doesn't. It just looks fucking awful. That it's gets a, up. That's, that's a breadcrumb. That's a breadcrumb. That gets up. Maybe it is. And if it is, I'll be happy for you. But just know, one of the uglier bets ever seen on this show. Uh, side bet. Side better. Which which element do you want to side bet? No, no. The whole you pick fucking one. bet. No, but pick, the whole bet. No, you pick one. We'll no, side I'll just bet. do the whole bet. Whole bet? Um, side bet me. For the whole bet? No. What, Storm 7.5? You don't like that? I'm doing the whole what, bet, do you, so what, do you, Okay, which element? Do you like Pap or not? But that's not the point, right? What you do you put like? them all together, it <laughs> no, makes no, you a tell disgusting me. meal. No, no. But you tell, me, meal. Well, you tell me what you don't like. I don't like side any bet of me. it. I don't like it side all. Side bet me. I'll so you do the like it. Side, side bet me for the whole bet. bet. Yeah, 50 bucks. There you go. Done. Sweet. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. I don't have a great track record in bets, so I'll like an extra. On that no, now. it'd be a nice little extra <laughs> yeah. cherry for me. I'm mean, gonna love coming in and making you fucking lick it up. Yeah, you dog. I will. I'll spit it into your mouth. Now, I do like the storm here. Can I say something? Oh, you like maybe? the storm? That's seven and a half lines. Fucking <laughs> controversial. Really here. annoying. Controversial. I Fuck, don't dude, that plus seven think, and a half hey, was buddy, rank. don't get upset. It's a shit bet. It's five twenty. You got a lot to have. I would like the storm, though, mate. <laughs> I do like the Storm. I don't like Storm. Yeah, right. Plus seven and a half, into under 44 right, and a half, right. into Pappenhausen for so $5.20. Like Pat. I for prefer Pap to Harry Grant. That's all right. You can. You can. <laughs> Who's going to get their hands on the ball more? So Storm, I think, win. I also think, and this may sound controversial, punters and dribblers, I don't think Jack Cogg is that good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't think he's that good. Like, he was, he was, he fucking killed it in the grand final. He killed it. 
fantastic. Shout out to Jack Cogger. No one can ever take that away from you. But before that game, with respect, and I can't play rugby league for shit. I don't think anyone gave that much of a fuck about Jack Cogger. <laughs> and I just think that, like, oh, Jack Cogger's in there now. I'm just not believing it. Happy to be wrong, not believing it. So the fact that that's meant to mean the Knights are going to win, like, that, if that's what it is, oh, they got Jack Cogger now? Like, relax. He's lost his last nine games for Newcastle, only won three of his 22 games in a Knights jersey. Thank you so much, Rando. You're if welcome, I could kiss mate. you from here, I would. Yeah, Again, fine. the Storm are missing players, though, but the, the Knights are high on their rugby league supply. Storm, Grant, anytime, 653. Would it shock you if the Storm won? It wouldn't shock me. If you don't like the uh, Knights halfback in their attack, the under's not looking too bad there. Just quiet. No, but the Storm could beat the fuck out of them, right? And if they do, their fullback will probably cross, right? Could do, but it could be overs, right? <laughs> yeah, but I've, mi- I've, moved, I've, moved, I've, but I've moved the line out, so it's not actually matter. the live one. 5.20 for well, three fu- things no, but, to no, happen. No, but so fucking... 5.20 for those three things to happen. All right, we'll see. Hey, it's, mate, not three, but it's not three things because I've moved away so from the so bookies' lines <laughs> where they're usually fucking... Ra- they they usually nail their lines. So three things don't need to happen for you bet to get up? It's more like, so three it's more like, it's more like uh, one uh, and a half. Uh, okay, well, but there's literally three <laughs> things in your bet. So that's all I would say. Mm. Um, anyway. But, you, but you, that's because you don't get punning and you're 0 from 19. I am over like 19. I am over 19. But I mean, also. And you came like, dead last last year. Well, and you <laughs> came. Well, you won your first one last year with a losing uh, record. No, no, we're talking what about. Was, what was it? Uh, well, minus 35 units. So I wouldn't mate, be beating your dick I about your be, belt. Bro. I would be shocked if we get positive <laughs> for the rest of the fucking all time on this show now that we only do rugby league. Well, listen. Without your 35. little mate who's. Negative 35. <laughs> he looks like he's going <laughs> to. <laughs> Lippy, Knights Coats, 429. That's fucking pure shit. That's disgusting. Knights Coats. Uh, and that's us. Unit Scoopers. Sebo, what do you like, brah? I have, like, accidentally found... I had to double-check the odds even for a third time because I'm looking at my bet. And I, I originally started out just trying to do, like, a trebuchet bet, just put, like, a four try scorers in that I think are going to go really well. And I just kept adding people in. And I was just like, wait a second. How many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But on here it says seven. Le- oh, no, because one's a double leg. So I've basically gone. Um, their somewhat favourite try scorer has gone Taruva, uh, Young. Did I go Young? That's what I'm getting confused by because I don't remember putting him in. Well, What's going wait, on we, here, might, buddy? we might come we back might to you, mate. <laughs> Guru, how, how many times did you say you checked that? <laughs> yeah, I, I want you to go oh, away Huddy and Young, start again. Huddy Young, I thought it was Dommy Young. Taruva, Huddy Young, Carney P, Felt, Mulatalo, Hamole, Garrick, and Ponga. I thought it was going to spit out like 150. Spits out 1,267. Originally going for a trebuchet, ended up with a, a potentially, well, it will be an immortal bet if it comes off because... That leaderboard, or not leaderboard, but uh, on a board, needs to start filling out. It'll be like more units than the collective units of the entire fucking show yeah. ever. Mate, you could, if, you, if you land that, congratulations. Yeah, well <laughs> done. That's a season. But you're making out like you got two try scores in there, and it's <laughs> a fucking, it's a fait accompli. Nine. He's forwards. got nine. Nine, nine and, and two but like so, Oh, no, yeah. two, yeah, two, two, eight. Eight, 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 eight. But yeah. some of them just like... A locks. And then Hamole, like, he's the one who starts juicing this thing. Hardy didn't like, score last week. Yeah, but Lightning, Hamole, he was the only one who didn't Garrick score. Garrick didn't yeah. score last week. Ponga, Ponga didn't, didn't score last week. did Ponga, score, did Ponga score? score? Don't know if he scored. Yeah, he but you know what makes a good punter who gets value? Who isn't just the guy who goes, who scored last week? I'll put him to my Like, it doesn't happen like that. People don't score every mm. week, you know mm. what I mean? You have to pick the people who didn't score sometimes. Fair. And if bets like that came off every week, the bookies would not be operating. That's all I'll say. Yep. But, uh, I, but I will be having a little something on it. <laughs> <laughs> Guru? Yeah, change of pace. Uh, Tommy Turbo, already spoke about him. $2.40, a lot of value there. I like Bradman best on that left edge without Marsu. Jack Whiten, surely he scores in his first game for the Bunnies. And Kyle Felt, I've got $53.30 for those four there. I like that. There. I actually like that. That's good. Yeah, I don't mind that. That's nice. I've gone Panthers to win, Warriors to win, Roosters to win, Cowboys to win, Seagulls to win. I've got Knights. I'm going to go with it. 15.36. Wow. Okay. Um, I just threw something together here as I arrived. I've got Savage, Daniel Tupo, Taolangi, Teague, Wilton, Hamole. Uh, 139.26. I don't know. Teague and Hamole score. So I just need these backs to just get into their work. And I reckon, like, 
Did, who are the Sharks playing? Yeah, looking for a bit Tigers. of a lightning bolt. Tigers. Uh, about for Teague there. So Teague's yeah. last week. So Great yeah. name, yeah. Teague. Yeah. Great name. But they're playing the Tigers, right? So, like, that's not an impossible fucking outcome. That left's looking good. Yeah. For the start. I reckon that's the chum. You know what I mean? Like the blood in the water bet. Like, yeah. just take three or four left-hand side of the Sharks this week. That includes Teague. And the lippy. Panthers, Warriors, Crows... He put some Crows, AFL yeah. in there. Titans, yuck. Titans, Why would he Cows, not just do league first Swans, and, and Sharks. He's probably put them in order of games. I'd say twelve twenty eight. Yeah. Maybe AFL guy. That's why his bets are so uh, small lots because he's he's two dollar odds. He thinks are like massive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's used to get someone four <laughs> four goals and he's getting a fucking dollar ninety four. Another piece of the puzzle falls into place. <laughs> All right, final segment of the show. Hot seat. I'm up. I've got to win. What do we come up with, boys? Seven more bets. Round mm. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's a chance I just bet on Manly every week. Am I giving it away? You'll have to fucking find out. <laughs> <laughs> Butters and dribblers, I'm back in the hot seat this week after Manly get up and fucking work against the Roosters. Now, all I've got to do is get seven bets in a row and I get $1,000 and I'm feeling really fucking good about it. To deny a guru a chance in the hot seat would be like a Christmas come early for this young Dubbo kid. So I'm going to do my fucking best to prevent that from happening. And how am I going to do that? I'm going to bet on a, a side that is so mispriced this week, it's actually fucking disgraceful. If you're a trader, you need to whip yourself because you've, you've fucked up this week, bro. If you're going to give me $1.92 for Manly, who are full strength, basically, you're an idiot. The Eels stink, mate. They suck. And they're going to get pumped because we love pumping those cunts. Manly to win. I'll be here next week, and I'll see you next week. That's us. Shout out to Neds. Shout out to the punter. Shout out to the dribbler. Shout out to Tommy. Guru. Sebo. Randa. Love yous. Like. What's gambling really costing you? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website 